One of the things I love about uh, using goldfish here is that they're extremely hardy. So as you can see, you know, swimming around just fine. And let's see if we can get a picture of the ones in the big barrel. Um, yeah, they're down there somewhere. Oh, here we come. So both this large barrel and the small bucket had, um, over the course of the winter, have had, you know, thick layers of ice that I've had to come in and, and break up uh, to make sure that the uh, fish don't suffocate, but they've had pretty much no filtration. And I've only fed them once or twice in the past two months, and they're all just ticking along just fine. Um, you know, that's an advantage when you keep your fish for a long period of time. Um, you know, that they can handle both the warm temperatures and the cold ones. So, uh, you know, go with your natives, go with uh, things that are climactically appropriate, and you don't have to worry too much about it. If, on the other hand, you're growing, you know, tilapia in a temperate climate, you have to make sure that you're either supplementing their heat or you're harvesting them uh, before it becomes necessary, before they all, before they all die. Um, some people run, you know, tilapia in the win in the summer and then uh, trout in the winter, and that's a good strategy. But again, you know, if you want to keep breeding stock or overwinter um, different species, you have to take that into account. But if you just go with natives or very hardy fish, then you don't have to worry so much about it.